New tonight, Seminole County Supervisor of Elections is headed to a big new role. After a messy midterm election and a recount process, the state's election efforts will now be overseen by Michael Ertel as the next Secretary of State for Governor-elect Ron DeSantis. Channel 9's Jeff Lev Coolidge is live outside the Seminole County Supervisor of Elections office. And Jeff, DeSantis called Ertel vastly qualified for this position. And George, we heard rumblings that Ertel was up for this position weeks ago. Today, Governor-elect DeSantis made it official. Now, Ertel is on vacation, so he's not in the area this week. But he says the next governor has a bold vision for Florida, and he is proud to be a part of his team. Michael Ortel was first appointed as Seminole County Supervisor of Elections by Governor Jeb Bush back in 2005 to replace Dennis Joyner. Since then, he was elected four times by the voters, and now he will take over as Secretary of State. In a statement today, Governor-elect Ron DeSantis wrote that the experienced elections supervisor will strive to ensure that elections statewide are fair and accurate. The move comes just two months after a disastrous midterm election, which saw a statewide recount hampered by issues in two counties, Broward and Palm Beach. In Seminole County, the recount process, which Ertel oversaw, went smoothly. DeSantis saying today, quote, I look forward to Mike bringing not only his elections expertise to Florida voters, but his steady leadership to the Department of State as it seeks to improve the quality of life for all Floridians through its various activities. One of the first issues Ertel will have to face as Secretary of State will be the implementation of Amendment 4, which would restore the voting rights of most felons after they fulfill their sentences. The current Secretary of State and DeSantis have both said the legislature needs to weigh in, even though on its face the amendment doesn't call for assistance from Tallahassee. Ertel was not available today for an interview to ask him where he stood on the issue. And Ertel was last elected as the supervisor of elections here in Seminole County in 2016. So it does still have some time left on his term. It'll be up to Governor-elect DeSantis when he gets into office to help fill that role. Reporting live in Seminole County, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.